Hello, I've been looking into record players, as in turntables and things to play records, vinyls, 78s, whatever. So I thought I'd give you some information that you can use, or if you find it useful, yeah, maybe you'll find a use for my channel. Anyway, this is for the beginner who knows virtually nothing and doesn't want to get ripped off. So let's give it a go, see if we can be of any help. If you go onto Amazon or something similar to that, you will find there is an enormous choice of very low priced record players and turntables. But what should you go for? What's worth having? What I'm going to show you here is my opinion. It's not facts, it's opinion based on facts, but I'll try and qualify them and you can decide whether you want to go with it or not. It's entirely up to you. I'm not selling anything. I'm just trying to save you some time, effort and frustration. You may see things like this, which is this one's a Crosley, but there are other makes out there, and it's a multiple like music sender. It's got a record player, it's got a cassette, it's got rec uh, radio in it, but I wouldn't touch it, not with a barge pole. They do a lot, some of it they do quite well, but you will be disappointed in at least one or two items on this sort of thing. They cost anything up to two hundred pounds, and they are not not fun when you when you find out what's actually going to happen to them. Before we get stuck into it properly, let's have a quick look at this. See this? This is a red stylus. Keep an eye over for that. It's an indicator of something. So let's have a look at the problem. I typed in Bluetooth turntable and all of these come up. Now look at the difference in prices. It's ranging from just under £200 to £90 for, for what is basically the same thing. And then you've got this stuff. It goes from 109 356 99 It's The money involved on these is pretty, pretty variable. And you don't actually know what you're going to be getting at the end of it because, you know, some of them are... Well, the price is nothing to do with what you're actually buying in terms of sound quality. If you look at it, you can find that there is some turntables there, or record players, where the only difference is the colour. And the price can be two or three times. Now, see those red styli? They're an indicator of something, as I said before. So here we go, look, this is all these different music centres ranging in all the different price, £49, £89, etc, etc. And it really is a minefield. If you get one of these, are you going to be happy with it? Look, £24 for all those styluses. It really is amazing. £25 for one stylus there. Now that's £25 for a stylus. And then you've got a record player that's going for £30. How is that possible? Well, it's because they charge what they want and that is the problem they're not charging for quality they're charging for sometimes functionality sometimes the, the actual finish if you're looking at something that's got like this one it comes in all the different colors there you've got four different versions but they're different price 39 pounds up to 99 pounds 39 39 39 and 99 it's it is absolutely a minefield now this one looks like quite a good bargain because it hasn't got a red stylus but let's have a look at the prices on it it's um ridiculously cheap it's got a specification there and it's saying what it's doing but look at those things it's up against and again the prices are so variable so this is how i would decide to buy a record player a thing to play records if you start off with the idea that you're going to get audiophile quality, then you're going to have to spend an arm and a leg and possibly other body parts as well. But if you just want something to be able to play it and you want to get into it and see if it's worth something that you're interested in actually listening to vinyl, then the way to do it is to buy yourself a medium-priced turntable. Now, they start at about £80. You might say that's a lot of money, but it's not because that would come with a reasonable cartridge, not one of those red ones, not ones with the red stylus on there, and it'd be a proper, probably magnetic cartridge, and it will be doing the job properly. The turntable itself may be plastic, and it may not look particularly romantic or, or flashy, but it will probably be a lot better, because you're paying more money for it. Now, are you getting ripped off at this point? Well, if you've got a reasonable cartridge, and you've got a reasonable turntable, then no, you're not, because the thing... The cartridge is going to cost more than what some of those cheaper things were anyway. Now, that's the first point. Get yourself a decent cartridge on a reasonable platter-type turning device, i.e. a turntable. And then I would suggest you go for Bluetooth speakers if you want the convenience or 
the type that you plug into the wires with that are called active speakers if you don't want to go for convenience get some speakers that you like the sound of like the look of now you can pay as little as 25 pounds for a good sounding bluetooth speaker or you can pay as much as you want they go for up to a thousand or more so my advice is find this a speaker that's the sort of quality that you like the sound of now in my case i went for the soundcore 3 and that's a nice sounding speaker it is not hi-fi it is not it goes up to 40 kilohertz though but it's um 16 watts that's peak to peak it gives some good it gives good loud sound with reasonable bass now at, when you're playing it that's the, what you're going to be listening to so if you're happy with the speakers that's fine as far as the turntable is concerned if you go for bluetooth and you go for this you're looking at about 30 pounds for the for the speakers and you're looking at 70 or 80 pound for a, a, a turntable that's probably worth having you can pay more but this is the way it should go if you do that you'll be happy with the results this is only my opinion this is what i did i spent a lot of money well my wife spent a lot of money on buying me a turntable that's quite expensive with bluetooth and she also bought me because i asked for it the soundcore 3 because it's a nice sounding speaker and I wanted to be able to use it in the car as well not the turntable but the speaker I can put it in my pocket I can take it where I want and use it with my phone so that's convenience but you might want to have yourself some nice permanent speakers of that type so you can get these bookshelf ones that's fine it's entirely up to you but go with something you like the sound of well that's it that's a quick just a quick way to look at the way of buying these sort of things and Hopefully, I've pointed you in the right direction. Make up your own minds. If you want to know any more, put it in the comments, and uh, I'll make sure I get back to you. Cheers. Bye-bye.